We'll ask him. We'll ask him. There's a so. lot I don't of different. Remember what I said. <clears throat> Big Mike, because listen, you'll always be. Love Sack Love Mike. Sack Mike. I know. You it's know that, still in my phone. Right. And I told you, you like, don't ever change it. Yeah, because yeah. that's the that's the case with like every creator in Los Angeles. Yeah. They all have me in as Mike Love Sack. So. Yeah, real quick, there's a vlog of it. I met you for the first time, Travis Pastrana's house. Yeah. And you actually you actually coordinated that. The whole You're thing. Like, you want to yeah. go to Travis's, we're gonna film the phone pit with Love Sacks. He was he was hustling Love Sacks, man. Big time. And and they were dope. We got them in our house and they were we loved them. But that was where we met. And you were just this guy selling love sex. I'm like, why am I at Travis Pastrana's right now? And it was the greatest day. Yeah, it was so sick. But That's how I met Logan, too. Dude, how crazy. It's nuts, That dude. was a powerful day right there. I know. And, and I mean, I just through love sex in general, I mean, I owe uh, Sean Nelson so much just gratitude and thanks and respect for, for giving me the opportunity to have that position. I was this, you know— really rough around the edges kid from the streets that had no real classical training and marketing or anything like that. And he took a chance on me and saw uh, someone that had a potential to be something more than what they were given, you know, and I'll owe Sean Nelson, you know, a, a debt for forever. But I tried my best to pay that debt while I was at Lovesack and I was yeah. always hustling. And originally I met Logan through just a happenstance text from an agency. You know, Logan Paul's Crazy, this influencer. Man. This is 2015. So like they use that term and I was like, what the freak does that mean? Yeah. Uh, is looking to get his hands on a couple of sacks, and, you know, the story is pretty <laughs> well known. But he he got my number. He texted me and he was like, um, you know, I'm sitting at the desk in Stanford, Connecticut, like you know, on the, on the laptop, trying to be the best like corporate employee that I can be. Like I have my button up shirt on, like trying to make believe like I'm not like some felon, you know, <laughs> like yeah. or whatever at the time. And, uh, he, he, uh, Logan texted me. He's like, his opening text was, yo, what's the deal with these love sacks, man? Can you f on them? <laughs> and That's I was just, started? yeah. And that was like the first text he sent me. And I was like, Okay, you like, can, right? yeah, yeah. So I was like, Brit's like, that's actually how our last child was conceived. <laughs> you can make babies yeah. on them. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what to say because I was, uh, I was still trying to straddle this line between, you know, really trying to to show people that I was reformed and that right. I was like a better person and that I wasn't going to mess up given an opportunity. But I also was who I am now, which is like this kind of spunky like yeah. person. So I, you know, I had to make a decision in real time, and I just shot and I said, um. Yeah, actually, the covers are machine washable, so if you get cum on them, it'll wash right off. And he laughed so hard at that, like, via text message. It was like a like, business response. Car, car, well, he expected it to be, like, some marketing thing, like, yeah. well, if you turn to page 44 of the warranty, you'll find washing and truck. Like, and I just, I sent that out to him and that was like the first time, like me and him kind of clicked. It's awesome. And now you look at like six years of like potentially one of the greatest duos in, in internet history of just Facts. building shows and vlogs and businesses and all these things. And it's just wild that it all kind of started from this, this text message. Dude, that's unbelievable. That whole day was just so good. Yeah. And, and, and we, Travis's house. Yeah. yeah. And then we've always just somehow stayed in touch here and there and. It's beautiful. Yeah, watching, 